Hello and welcome to Business Math BA 104. So I'm going to give you a quick introduction to the course and hopefully answer some questions uh, before you ask them. Right. So this is the Canvas site for the course. There's three main buttons on the course uh, home site. Start here, coursework, and Mr. Bell. So hopefully you've click through some of these and kind of know what they are, but let's go ahead and begin with start here. Okay, so as you go through these, one of the things you need to do is you go ahead and navigate using the bottom previous and next buttons on each of these pages. This is this getting started is the first thing you need to do in the course. So it's going to take you through uh, several different pages, including the, this video and uh, it will end with a quiz. So that quiz really is the first uh, participation assignment for the class and it's there to hopefully help you get started on the right foot and understand a little bit about the class before you actually begin some of the assignments. So as we click through here, I'm going to put the video here. Uh, let's talk real quick about the textbook. The textbook for this class it, it, you, is um, the uh, Slater Whitry Practical Business Math Procedures textbooks. It's the 12th edition. Okay, and the textbook you with the with the textbook you're actually going to need the access code. That's uh, that's for the Connect tool. That's where you're going to do all of your uh, assignments and exams. So you have an option. You can go ahead and buy the hard copy textbook with the code or you can just buy the access code. So by clicking on the blue button or the blue link here on this screen, you can go to the course site. It's going to have you register and you can uh, put in your code that you got if you bought the textbook already with the code and you can put it in there and it'll go right in. Uh, if you want to wait for 14 days, you can go ahead and sign up for the courtesy access or if you want to go ahead and just buy the code that comes with an ebook, you can do that through the link as well. So uh, you can take a look at the different prices for the different options and see what works for you and, and how you study. Some of my students really want the hard copy book to help them study. Uh, some don't care. Sometimes they say the ebook is fine with me. I'll go ahead and go through the assignments and, and be fine that way. So you go ahead and decide on that. This, uh, in this course you're going to be required to take the exams, the midterm and the final exam, in a proctored environment. Whether that's at a Treasure Valley Community College testing center or with a proctor that you coordinate or set up through this TVCC testing center. Uh, either way, you're going to have to have one by around hopefully week five year is the midterm time. Um, I would go ahead and start right from the beginning of the term and go ahead and set up a proctor if you're going to need one outside of the TVCC testing center. There's a link there to help you get the TVCC testing center contact information and start working with them on that. So course resources. Uh, th I have three of them listed here. And you may find others that might be helpful to you. If so, let me know and I'll go ahead and post some extra ones out here for future students. One thing that's been useful in past courses is there is a, a BA 104 handbook. That's a PDF. I put the link on here. That's going to be helpful when you go through certain chapters. Uh, there are tables and different uh, resources that are going to be found in the uh, handbook that you can use and keep at your fingertips that might help you be more efficient and get the uh, information you need to solve some of the uh, problems. Uh, there's the math lab which is located in Barber Hall on Ontario main campus. Uh, there's also math lab um, resources at the Caldwell Center and so definitely use those resources if you would like and they're definitely willing to help you out. And then of course my office hours. Contact me um, anytime to set up an individual appointment, either live or virtually, or 
we can uh, just cut, drop in during my office hours. They're listed on this link here. Uh, at the end of this uh, welcome module, you're going to need to take this welcome quiz. So go ahead and go through it and uh, take the quiz as many times as you want to. Hopefully you can get a perfect score on that. That's kind of the idea is go ahead and go back through it and take it until you get a perfect score. And uh, that'll help make sure that you've got some of those basics out of the way and you're able to know how to begin. Okay, so going back to the home page here, coursework. So um, there's a few, there's a couple different ways that you can proceed through the course, right? So go ahead, you, number one way is clicking on the green coursework button. That's going to take you to the modules uh, page for Canvas. Uh, it's going to start with your connect course access link is the same link that's on the in the welcome start here menu um, the getting set started section that's what we just went through and then we begin with chapter 11 so this we don't begin with chapter one on this uh, for this course we start with chapter 11 we dive right into those practical applied business math concepts so go ahead and click on chapter 11 overview and then you can begin chapter 11 and, and go through that. Each of these chapter sections is going to have an overview. It's going to have the course, the objectives for the chapter. So as you can know what you're supposed to be learning within the chapter. It's going to have uh, the first assignment, which is something that's called a uh, Learn Smart assignment, which is a study assignment. And then after that, once you once you uh, log in and get your access code connected, then you can go right in and do that here. Uh, once you get the Learn Smart assignment done, I have there's videos linked in every chapter. Uh, in this chapter, there's two, and that's to help you with each of the learning um, the main learning objectives. It's going to have a video showing you how to do a problem related to that learning objective, so you can have some. Uh, help up front getting started with that and then we dive right into the assignment so this is the actual assignment and it comes up again and connect and uh, once you get your access code in there you're going to be able to launch it and get in there so first we have the learn smart which is the study assignment then the actual homework assignment and then at the very end we have the chapter 11 quiz. These are all in prerequisite order so you got to do one before the other so to co hopefully build throughout the chapter you're going to start with your study, do your hands-on work assignments and then be quizzed at the end hopefully to be able to say hey I know this material I'm going to move on to the next chapter. You have the option you'll see in the welcome um, module to retake and redo the assignments and quizzes as much as you can want to be able to build those skills. So it's not a one and done deal. It's it's you're working in there to hopefully build your score up and get the answers correct. So that's chapter 11 quiz. And then you can go back into uh, either the modules or the assignment or you can go back through the home page uh, to get back into the next chapter and keep moving on. So the idea of this course is there should be you should be able to do ideally a chapter a week and so that seems kind of easy it is some weeks some weeks it might be a little more difficult so something you can look at as you go through here is the course syllabus that there's links for the actual kind of document on course syllabus link here under home and there is a schedule as well so you can kind of uh, know which chapter you should be working on every week and to keep yourself in line with what their uh, what the timing the time you have for the course all of the assignments are listed here as well and so the the trick with this is there is no due dates for any specific assignment you have all term to complete your assignments in the exams so as soon as you get done with chapter 11, you could move right on to chapter 12. Or uh, if you took you a little longer to do chapter 11, uh, you can start chapter 12 a little later and then continue on with that. So, so there are no specific uh, due dates for these um, assignments or exams, just the suggested timeline. 
but the only hard due date is the end of the term. So the end of the term is the end of all work. I encourage you to uh, get going early, do it early, and do your homework often, and stay on it. That's the number one thing that, that uh, uh, students um, fall in, into some trouble with is they put some stuff off and procrastinate a little bit with, with online classes. Don't do that with this class. Get a schedule and stick with it. So if you need any help, feel free to click on that last green button at the home page. Mr. Bell has my information on there. My office hours are in this blue link right here. My phone number and email are right here. In, uh, and feel free, we can set up a meeting live or virtually, or you can just drop by my office and we can uh, get you the help you need. It's good to have you in the course, and we'll uh, hopefully talk to you later.